Right, now, let's look at the first questions for interference Young double slit experiment. Okay? In a Young's double slit experiment, the seventh duct fringe is located uh, 0.025 meter to the side of the central bright fringe on a flat screen, which is 1.1 meter away from the slits. The separation between the slits is 1.4 exponent negative 4 meter. What is the wavelength of the light being used? Okay? We have, uh, in this chapter, we have uh, four. Uh, four things we have learned. We learned about double slit, uh, thin flames, single slit, and diffraction grating. So first of all, we need to identif identify which one. Okay, we need to identify which one. So here we can see it is about double slit. Ah, so it's about two slits. Okay, this is the first thing we know. Uh, so it's a double slit. Uh, okay. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, the seventh dark fringe is located uh, 0.025 meter to the side of the central bright fringe. So this is about central bright fringe. Yeah? Se uh, no, I mean seventh dark fringe. This is about the seventh dark fringe. Okay, the seventh dark fringe located. Uh, located means the position. Position means it's the Y. Uh, it's the YM. Huh? This one is the YM. Uh, to the side of the central bright fringe on the screen. Uh, so, which is located 1.1 uh, meter away from the slits. Means this 1.1 meter means is the distance between the screen, the screen and the slit. Uh, so, this one is the big D. Okay? Yeah, he said the screen is located 1.1 meter away from the slits. And then the separation between the slits is uh, between the two slits, uh, separation is uh, the small d, uh, 1.4 exponent negative 4 meter. So what is the wavelength? So the question asks for wavelength. All right. Uh, so these are the information we get from the, uh, from the questions. Okay, I have written it down. So first of all, we know it is a double slit. Double slit, we only learn about in-phase source. Uh, yeah? it, we only use in-phase source. Yeah? In-phase source. So, the, uh, this is the first thing you must know. If in phase source, what do you, what can you, what is the deduction you can make? If in phase source means to form the bright fringe, to form the bright fringe, the delta L need to be m lambda, isn't it? Uh, for in phase source, the, to form bright fringe, the delta L need to be m plus m lambda. To form dark fringe, the delta L need to be uh, m plus half lambda. Ah, this is the first deduction you should know. For in phase, for in phase, uh, to form uh, for in phase sources to form bright fringe, delta L is m lambda. To form dark fringe, the delta L is uh, m plus half lambda. Maybe uh, I I should um, the, in the summary here I need to uh, just take this yeah. Uh, this is the very important diagram. I should put it here. Okay, so I should put it somewhere here also yeah. Um, yeah. Put it here, okay? Yeah. Ah, all right. Ah, this one lah. Okay. Ah, this is the thing. So we learn about uh, in phase source the to form bright fringe delta m must be m lambda. Uh, dark fringe is m uh, delta m must be m plus half lambda. Ah, if empty phase is opposite. Okay. Good. So now, uh, uh, okay. This is about seventh dark fringe. Okay, seven dark fringe. So we need to use dark fringe formula. Dark fringe formula is uh, the m plus half lambda. Uh, okay, dark fringe formula is m plus half lambda. Okay, for in phase sources. Uh, so, uh, to uh, so to form the position because it gives us the position, isn't it? Uh, uh, zero point zero two five meter. Uh, so the formula for the position y m uh, is using m plus half lambda. Can you see that? Uh, because it's dark fringe. Uh, m plus half lambda. Okay. Uh, and then, uh, all the other information given. Okay. So, uh, the position, the distance big D, the separation between the two slits. Okay. Given all. Okay. Now, seven dark fringe. He say seven dark fringe. What is the order? Uh, we also need to know what is the order for seventh dark fringe. Is it 
is it a uh, seven order uh, is it seven dark fringe is the seven order is it no it's not seven order uh, seven dark fringe is not seven order because for double slit remember we learned uh, we summarized this thing already uh, we are talking about dark fringe yeah we are talking about dark fringe uh, so dark fringe double slit uh, double slit dark fringe so uh, yeah the thing to emphasize is about dark fringe yeah so it's about seven dark fringe so double slit dark fringe uh, see remember this one uh, so uh, review again uh, we have double slit single slit diffraction grating all the bright fringe only the bright fringe all follow order all follow order but uh, for dark fringe yeah for dark fringe double slit m plus one not follow order only the single slit follow order only the single slit follow order uh, but diffraction grating we don't discuss about dark fringe okay so dark fringe we only discuss between dark, double slit and single slit so double slit the dark fringe m plus one uh, not follow order o the only the single slit dark fringe follow order okay so dark fringe uh, means what it means here is um, m plus one means what that means just now we are talking about uh, we are talking about uh, sorry again uh, we are talking about seven dark fringe isn't it uh, seven dark fringe so uh, we we learned that double slit dark fringe m plus one that means uh, we have now we have uh, we have uh, seven dark fringe isn't it we have seven dark fringe that means uh, the order is actually six the order is actually six uh, m plus one means what means the number yeah uh, this is the this is what we call this is what we call order uh, this is what we call number uh, the uh, sorry yeah uh, this is what we call uh, no, uh, okay let me mix make it smaller uh, this is what we call order the m means the order uh, this one the seven dark fringe means the number so the number is actually the order plus one order plus one so this is six plus one becomes seven uh, six plus one becomes seven so the sixth order or we can say this one is um, this one is actually the sixth order dark fringe uh, for double slit uh, for double slit only uh, for six sixth order dark fringe is actually the is actually the uh, seventh it's actually the seventh dark fringe. Ah, the the sixth order dark fringe. Uh, or we you write it as we write it as m equal to six dark fringe. Is actually seven dark fringe. Ah, uh, the sixth the sixth order dark fringe or m equal to six dark fringe is the seventh dark fringe. Ah, uh, okay. So only the dark fringe, uh, only the double slit dark fringe with plus one. Ah, uh, the order. Uh, the order plus one to get the number uh, the order plus one to get the number okay uh, but for single slit if you have a six order dark fringe you will get uh, if for the single slit uh, for the single slit is different for single slit if you have uh, the sixth order uh, this is called order uh, if you have the six order dark fringe uh, is the six dark fringe uh, that's for single slit uh, that's for this is for uh, this is for single uh, slit. Uh, uh, this is for double slit. Uh, okay, this is for double slit uh, plus one. But for single slit, it follow the order. See, it follow it follow the order. Ah, uh, it follow the order. Uh, why like that? Because single slit, it the no. Uh, it doesn't have. It doesn't have uh, it doesn't have the zero order, but double slit it has zero order. Ah, uh, yeah. It does uh, for single slit the order start from one. Yeah, uh, the start from first dark fringe. It doesn't have zero order, but the double slit it has start from zero order dark fringe. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, yeah. Double slit uh, it start from zero order. Uh, double slit it start from zero order dark fringe is already called the first dark fringe. But but for single slit. It doesn't have zero order. It starts from first order dark fringe. The first order dark fringe is called the first dark fringe. 
Uh, do you see that? Uh, that's why for single slit, the dark fringe, uh, the number follow the order. But for double slit, the, uh, the number, uh, the order plus one to get the number. Uh, it, do, it does not follow the order. See? Uh. Okay, so anyway, uh, I just want to tell you that uh, for double slit, dark fringe, M plus 1. For single slit, follow order. Okay, uh, this is the thing lah. Right? So now, um, let's look back. Huh? So, we have a 7 dark fringe here. 7 dark fringe here. So, 7 dark fringe, that means uh, the order is 6. Now, order is 6, yeah? M plus 1 to get the 7. So, the order is 6. So, later on, the order, don't put 7. If you put 7 wrong, yeah, you must put 6. Okay. So, let's write it down. Yeah, let's write it down. So, what we have all the information already. Just want to find lambda. So, uh, this will become y6 equal to... Okay. Uh, let's make it bigger. Okay. Uh, yeah. y6 equal to uh, 6 plus half uh, lambda d over d. So, y6 is... We got uh, the position 0 0.025 and then 6 plus half lambda. Lambda is. And uh, we need to find lambda, isn't it? Wavelength. And then big D is uh, 1.1 meter away. And then the D, small d is 1.4. Exponent negative 4. Ah. So, what is my lambda? What is my lambda? The, my lambda is, uh, I got it 4.895. 4.895 exponent negative 7 meter. Uh, that is the answer. That's my lambda. Alright. Okay. So that's that's how that's a way to solve it. Thank you for watching. Let's move on to the next video.